How's it going guys? It's no question I'm a massive Lululemon fan and if you followed my channel all then you certainly know that just with the past videos I've made. But I thought it would be helpful just to make a video going over all of my Lululemon items, my entire collection and just talk about all of them, what my thoughts are overall and really what my favorite pieces are and if I think that you should get them as well. So that's what you can expect to get out of this video. Now, with that said, let's get into it. Let's start out with one of my favorite items from Lululemon, and that's gonna be the ABC Slim Fit Pant. I personally think that this is the perfect do-it-all pant and everyday pant as well. You can wear it in pretty much any situation, whether it be out to the bars, out to lunch, even I've worn it to weddings as well. So I just love the versatility of it. Now I have this pant in three different colorways. That's gonna be Tofino Sand, like a gray Utilitech color, and a black Utilitech. Now there is a key difference to call out here between the Warp Stream Slim ABCs and the Utilitech. The Utilitech is more of a, I want to call it kind of like a denim-ish material. It's just a lot thicker and I think it has a little bit of a better structure in my opinion. But the Warp Stream pants are so much more comfortable, way softer. And if I had to describe them in any way, they look more a little bit like a slack and just a touch dressier as well. So depending on what your need is, if you need a more for work, then I would go with a Warp Stream or if you just want a more casual look and honestly, I can even wear the Utilitex into work totally fine. I think they look great. Then I think you really have a decision to make, but honestly, the Warp Streams are way more comfortable. So I'm gonna stay on the topic of pants, and this is actually a newer item that I got from Lululemon, relatively, but it's the Relaxed Fit Tapered Trouser. Now, this is definitely a different style compared to the obviously ABCs where it's much more of a slim fitting pant, but I really like this style. It is just a bit baggier, but I think that the taper all the way throughout the leg just looks really clean and lends itself to a much different style than the ABCs. Honestly, I have no complaints with these pants. I really, really love them. I think they look great and I love how they're just slightly cropped. So it allows you to show off the shoe. And if you are wearing a high top, I think it just looks that much better. And honestly, I do wanna get some more colorways. I would love to get black for this relaxed taper trouser. So I think that's next on my list. Now, next I'm gonna talk about my first Lululemon love, the item that really introduced me to the brand and then drained so much of my money because of it. And that's gonna be the Pacebreaker Short. Now I have four different colorways and pairs of the Pacebreaker Short. I have one in a five inch inseam and the rest are seven inch. And honestly, I think either are fine, both look great. I have a bunch of different colorways. So I have a heather black, the carbon dust color, a heather navy, and like a light blue ocean color, I guess you could call it. So. Anyway, I used to absolutely love these shorts and I do think that they're great for like just running to the store because I think they look pretty good and even wearing them to the gym, I do like. But I've since graduated to a short for the gym that I like far, far more. So I really look at these shorts now for more of like casual wear and just wearing out and about when I'm really not trying to get all that dressed up but still want to be comfortable as well. I'm going to be going to the driving range later and I'm going to be wearing these shorts there. Additionally, I know they just did an update on the style of the Pacebreaker shorts and made them a little bit baggier from what I I've read and just some other little design tweaks too. And thanks to you guys in the comments, honestly, you've mentioned as well that you are just really not a fan of the changes they've made. And ultimately for me, I'm surprised that they've made the design even baggier because that's one of the things actually that deters me from there. I wish they were more tapered. So the fact that they went the opposite direction is a really big turnoff. So I honestly haven't bought another pace breaker short in the last two years or so. Now I teased it earlier and I said that I've since graduated from the pace breaker short to a newer short and that's gonna be the license to train shorts. They are absolutely the best gym shorts that I've ever owned. I love them so, so much. And so much so that I also have four pairs of these too. So again, I have them in the carbon dust color Cassis, which is more like a maroon, black, and I don't exactly know what the color is off the top of my head, but it's like a deep forest green color. And I really, really love this colorway as well. What's nice about this pant is, like I said, they are super tapered. So in the gym, I think they look so good, especially when you're hitting legs. And I do have one of these in a five inch inseam, which is the carbon dust color and the rest are seven inch. And I feel like as the short has evolved a little bit, the taper has gotten just a little bit better on the shorts. So I think that either a seven or a five inch works. And then what's nice is that the front of the short is like probably an inch or a half inch shorter than the back of it. And I just kind of like that nice little split seam design that they have on these shorts. So I really love them. I don't see my style changing all that much with loving these shorts. So I would really recommend them. One thing that's also nice about them too is since it's part of their license to train line, 
The pace breakers in the gym, I have noticed like just snag a little bit easier and I've kind of picked up on that to where like it almost looks like they pill. But with the license to train shorts, the fabric is much thicker and definitely suited and designed for barbells and things like that rubbing against it. So I think it's just much better to be used in the gym than the pace breaker short. Now piggybacking off of the license to train short, I also have the license to train joggers and I just went with a nice black look here. and. I like joggers when they are a lot more slim fitting. So I really actually love these joggers. I think they look great. And the fabric is even softer and more comfortable in my humble opinion than the license to train short version. So that's one thing that I picked up on, but I think that they look so great in the gym. And I think a slimmer pant in the gym is personally the move. So I think they're great. And I honestly have nothing bad to say about them. I definitely think they're worth it. Another jogger I got from Lululemon is the Surge Jogger. And I got that a couple of years ago. And honestly, I just don't wear this item as much as I thought I would. And it's just a little bit baggier than I would like it to be. I personally prefer a nice tapered slim fit pant. So that could definitely just be me. And then on top of that, I just don't really find a lot of practice practicality or a lot of uses for it. Like if I am going to the grocery store in the winter or something like that, then I can rock these out, but it's still really not my first choice. And then if I'm going to go to like a dinner or even just go over to a friend's casually, I, I actually guess going over to a friend's casually would probably be the one time I do wear these pants. So I just don't wear them as nearly as much as I thought I would. I do know that they are a lot more suited for running. So if that's your style, then go ahead and go for it. But like lifting in them, again, it's similar to the pace breaker versus the LTT license to train line is that they're just not suited nearly as much for lifting heavy weights in the gym. Now, my favorite gym shirts overall are the dry sense t-shirts. I think they're super comfortable. I love how they look. They hug the arms perfectly. And I like that dolphin hem look. So for me, I honestly have no complaints. I have, oh my gosh, how many colors do I have? And I have these in four different colors. So it's very clear, obviously, that I really, really like them. And then I also have two of the long sleeve dry scent shirts, which I also really love and really prefer as more of a pump cover. I think it's a really nice look because it still kind of like allows you to show off your physique, silhouette, and overall, you can kind of still see your muscles in the gym. And then it's really lightweight. So when you take it off and carry it around the gym, it's really easy just to bring with you. So yeah, I really have no complaints with the dry sense t-shirt. Maybe for some of the lighter colorways, sometimes I do notice in the gym I'm nipping, but other than that, I really have nothing to complain about. All right, so I'm gonna stick with gym shirts and talk about the relaxed fit training shirt. Now, I really, again, love this shirt. It's certainly meant for lifting in the gym. And what I love about this shirt, it is a way more of a baggy look, which I personally do prefer. My only gripe is I wish it was just like an inch or two longer in terms of length. Other than that though, I think that this is a perfect shirt to wear on something like leg day, or if you just prefer that overall baggy look, then I think you cannot go wrong. I also like the material. It's a lot thicker than the dry sense, but at the same time, it's still pretty soft and comfortable. All right, another training shirt I got is the textured training short sleeve shirt. And I have these in two different colorways, but Honestly, I really like the hem and look of them. I just wish that the arms were a bit more tapered. Like I have fair enough sized arms, but the armholes are just huge. And so that's just like a one nitpicky thing for me and something I personally care about. You might not at all. Overall though, I actually do get compliments on this shirt quite a lot. So maybe I'm just a little bit in my head about it, but that's another good option if you like that split hem look too. Some other training shirts you can go with is the metal vent line. And honestly, this is the older version, similar to the pace breakers. They just updated this line in terms of some design tweaks, but overall I think it looks the same. Now what I'm just gonna say about these items is if you just prefer that classic, look in terms of really no styling on your t-shirt, then I think this is perfect for you. It is super breathable, really comfy. And honestly, I don't have much complaints about this shirt other than it just doesn't really fit my style best. I have two of the long sleeves and one tank top as well. So I think they are a great option if that's your style. Okay, that's mostly it for the gym stuff. And I know it was a ton, but Lululemon is my go-to spot for gym clothes. So now we're gonna jump more into some of like the casual wear again. And another piece that I would recommend getting is the commission seven inch short. Now, I think this is a great short. It just really reminds me of the ABCs, but in a short version. And I think the taper on it is great. It's pretty much a Chino style short, but it's really soft and really comfortable. So you can wear it on the golf course or out to lunch during summer and anything like that. And honestly, it's just a short that you really cannot mess up. So I think it's a good pick. And again, I have no complaints with this item. Another short that you can go with that I think is just a bit more casual is the Ripstop Bowline five inch shorts. 
I think that they look great. My girlfriend says they look like swim trunks, but I personally like the style overall and they are just a bit more durable. I guess for anything like going to the park or just wearing around town, you don't have to worry about them snagging and they are certainly more of a laid back look because they have drawstrings on them too. So that's a nice little different short that you can get and wear for some of those casual settings. Okay, now this is one of my favorite pieces from Lululemon and it's their underwear. I have like 10 different pairs. I think that they are absolutely a must in my opinion. Like literally everybody I know wears Lululemon underwear now and I think that they are absolutely worth the money. Also, I would just keep an eye out at the we made too much section and if you're not aware of what that is, it's really Lululemon's branded version of a clearance rack. So just go on their website, check that out, and you can often find things for 20 to 30% off. That updates pretty much every Thursday around 3 p.m. Eastern time. So just keep your eye out and you can definitely get some good pickups there. Similar to underwear, I do have a pair of socks from the Lululemon and they are really comfortable, but I don't know what it is about the material that makes my feet sweat so much. Like it's it's almost odd. So I guess that's a complaint. Like they are really comfortable and then the seams are so unique on the socks that you hardly even feel them. So that is a piece that I really do like, but I, I just don't know why my feet get so sweaty in them. Maybe it's just a me thing. Sticking on comfort, I definitely wanna recommend anything and everything from the At Ease line. I have a pair of shorts and also the jacket as well. It's so comfortable and just the texture and fabric of this line is so cool. Like anytime I see it out and about, I'm like, that's the At Ease line and I know it and I think it looks so good. So I would really recommend it. It's nice because it's like a sweat and comfort material, but overall, like when looking at it, I think for some reason it just looks elevated. So I think that this is a great piece and something that you cannot go wrong with. All right, going back to a bit more of the dressy stuff. I'm sorry, I'm bouncing around here. There was not really a good way to go about all this, but it's gonna be the commission long sleeve shirt. Now, I think this is a fantastic shirt because Again, it's so damn comfortable. And then you can really dress it up by buttoning it up all the way or keep it casual and unbutton it as well. So I really like the versatility of this piece and think it looks so good. It's nice and slim on the body. So it's one of my favorite pieces. A similar but also very different style is the relaxed long sleeve button up. Now this is a much thicker material here on this piece. So I would really only be wearing it in like the fall to springish time. To whereas the commission long sleeve is definitely more lightweight. But anyway, with this piece, I like the overall look of it. And I think more so using it as like an overshirt, I think is the best look rather than it being the standalone piece. But again, that's really just my opinion. All right, another great item is the Airing Easy Camp Collar. It's so lightweight, it's extremely breathable, and I think it just looks so damn good. And in the summertime, you can't go wrong with a camp collar. And this is definitely gonna keep you cool as well because it's so breathable. Now, if you prefer more of a formal look, and I can definitely understand if that's your style, I would go with the Airing Easy Short Sleeve. And I think that's a great look too. It's very similar in terms of the style to a camp collar, but like I said, to me, it just looks a bit more dressed up. And for some guys, they feel way more comfortable in that style. And for this, obviously, it's the exact same airing material and technology that they use on the camp collar. So it's super lightweight, very comfortable, all that good stuff. And now the granddaddy of them all, the most expensive piece I've bought from Lululemon is the Wonder Puff Utilitech jacket. I bought that this winter when I moved to Denver because I needed more of a thicker jacket. And honestly, like, I'm so damn happy with it. I love this jacket. I think it looks so good. It's extremely comfortable. It has these like really soft cuffs on the arm. And then overall it has this band that sits on the neck that's super comfy too. It is really expensive, but I feel like it's so high quality. And the reason I went for Utilitech over just the regular Wonder Puff is for a couple of reasons. The Utilitech came in a navy version, which I think just looked really great. That's actually the one I wanted. And then more importantly, I think the fabric just looked a lot more durable. Obviously, that's what Utilitech is. It has better waterproof ability as well. So there were quite a few factors going in and for at that point, jumping from I think 300 to $350, I think jumping and springing for the Utilitech version was so, so worth it. And I want a vest in the uh, Utilitech Wonder Puff line, but that's a time for another day. And I think it's just an overall fantastic piece that looks so good and definitely different than like, you know, your classic North Face that you see all the time. Ooh, I need a drink of water after that. That was a ton of information. I hope you guys found this helpful. I really, really love Lululemon and 
still recommend it as probably one of my favorite brands to go and shop with. I think if you're a guy and just walk into that store and obviously can afford it, then it's pretty hard to miss. Like you're gonna walk out looking pretty good with some good pieces too. So if you guys have any questions below, please let me know. And then additionally, I'd be really curious just to hear like, what are your favorite items that you like to buy? So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And other than that, I'll see you at Lululemon. <laughs> Woo! Oh.